Okay. Well, hello, everyone. Hello. Nani, hello. What's going on with you? You're too embarrassed about your background. What's happening there? Oh, it's really boring and beige. So I just thought, you know, I'm enough, surely. Hopefully. You are. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, what's, what's that sort of strange area going on behind Jim? There's a picture of something. Do you know so, what? I'm in my uh, my in-laws' uh, spare bedroom. Uh, so I, I think it's somewhere in Italy. Um, the, the thing about this room is there's lots of glass and the thermostat on the radiator is broken on a setting of five. I've been in here all day. It's very hot. Uh. <laughs> it's very hot. So, okay. uh, yeah, but that's what's going on in this room. There we are. Well, while I think of it, uh, just... There's a guy called Rodri, Rodri Marsden, who's on Twitter. He used to be in Scritti Politi. He's also a journalist. But every Christmas Eve, he gets people to tweet pictures of the bedroom they've been forced to stay overnight in. <laughs> you know, the in-laws, it's the cupboard. It's your nice. bedroom when you're a teenager. It's yes. your eight-year-old niece's pink bedroom. It's yeah. such a brilliant thing. And he raises money for crisis through it. It's just it's every picture is just joyous that he retweets. So. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of that. There, you've got there's some pillows there. Oh, there's pillows. Good. I've got yeah. pillows. We've got an interesting uh, sort of light. We've got lots of school photos there, <laughs> and then here we've got a map uh, with stickers about where uh, where people have been. Where they've been, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. That's what's going on here in and Chester? In Chester, or oh, my mum grew up in Crewe. Oh, right. OK, well, I'm afraid I'm a bit out of my depth up here. So, uh, yeah. Up here? Up here. Up here. Up here. Where, Where is I am? Up, yes, exactly. So, Chris, uh, liking the mix of books. Uh, is that Cornish Green, actually, there? And then there's a sort of fossil-y thing there. there well, I'm in Lyme Regis, so there has to be a fossil. Mm. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. So, first of all, I, I guess we better ask, how did it go last week? Did you all do it? Did you do it with each other, with other people? What was the... What was the story? That's good. Uh, I I did. I think I've got ten out of ten. I've been doing. It every, <laughs> I've been doing it every day. I, I've been doing it every day because I've been driving my kids to school uh, or collecting them from school, and so they are just they're they're locked in. They've got a seatbelt on. There's no escape, and they actually really enjoy the game. It's very easy to play with children. Um, yes, and it's a hoot. They've loved it. I mean. I guess my, and I've really enjoyed it, but my frustration with my kids is they take me in a very linear line. They take me and we always end up, you know, if we're going to the school, we're going to school to have lessons with the teacher. <laughs> All right. And I'm and trying to go, where's the octopus or where's <laughs> yeah. the uh, the superhero? So do you so, throw in you're having lessons with... But, every, but the frustration with me, every time I'm there, I'm always the one going, I and, you know, I'm, I'm the glue. Okay. As soon as well, I get given an opportunity, I'm like, sexy or uh, uh with the kids. Space man. No, no, not with my kids. That was the one I was trying to get to with my wife <laughs> lunchtime today. We are recording this, aren't we, Nadia? That's going we out. Went, yeah. <laughs> uh, great. Well, what, uh, we went shopping at Marks and Spencer's and I wanted what, to sort of get her into the laundry department and she was buying food. So <laughs> I mean, frankly, you know, who doesn't want a bit of Marks and Spender mango? Yeah. <laughs> as long as we can wait. Uh, what I was going to say, though, is, is we all need the glue. We need the glue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also, if you wanted to throw in sex, you could have just answered a new sentence. True. I don't know if, if that was feasible, but you know, I went I went to school. I saw man. I killed man. I kissed teacher. I seduced headmistress or something. You yeah, could yeah. start a new sentence. Uh, you know, it, it may not be syntactically correct. but yes. uh, yeah. So I'm very good at joining up words and creating a linear story. I guess I'm always trying to encourage them to go into some more interesting areas. So, well, how old are they as a matter of interest? They are eight and six. Okay, so they're not quite... Um, they're not quite there, the tangential level. Well, well, they're not quite also embarrassed. True. Uh, to get it you know, wrong, but they're not embarrassed uh, like a grown-up might be, because grown-ups would tend to be thinking, oh, what can I say? Whereas at least I imagine the children just say something anyway, even if oh, it is. It's non-stop. It's a non-stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. things. What can I say that's good? What, uh, rather than just say something and it'll happen. Yeah. And, uh, and then the other thing I'd say is we always end up giggling. Wherever we've got to, uh, there is a big giggle at the end. Right. Yeah. Um, it, and now with that, yeah, that age, I'd have thought Pooh might get involved somewhere, somehow. Yeah, Pooh has featured. Pooh, yeah. Pooh, we... Um, 
Who knows? Well, as Freud said, you know, uh, you know, death is what we all fear, and and Pooh and we are merely harbingers thereof. So, if we can laugh, if we can laugh at Pooh, then we can laugh at death. Well, Chris, have you, who have you been doing it with? Well, funny enough, uh, I've done it with Jim and uh, with uh, the other Neil on a workshop this week, and we got our clients to do it too. We so, did. And, and that was slightly more creative, Jim, if you recall. Uh, we we went to some a more tangential uh, spaces. So, yes, we did it as a little uh, energy connect session. Yeah, it's interesting. Sometimes people want to go tangential straight away, hmm? because then you haven't got a rhythm going. So you kind of get need to get a rhythm going yeah. to then go crazy. And then actually, uh, when you said octopus, you think, oh, octopus, chihuahua, da-. and after a while, oh, what happened to the octopus? Let's bring it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sort of want to create narrative, not linear, but some sort of narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Nadia, what have you got to say for yourself? Yeah. So, I um, practiced a little bit with Jim, but also in a Toastmasters class. So, we did a little bit of improv there. So, yeah, it's really exciting. But actually, funnily enough, some of the, so the zoo came up again. <laughs> like it was. Were there some elephants, uh, Nadia? <laughs> Not this time, but ah. somehow I managed to. My partner went and I managed to hook up with someone else. So I don't know. There's a theme there. I don't know how you would like to interpret it, but it keeps on happening with me. So we've gone from fucking elephants to a partner that, a new partner. Yeah. Well, there you go. So the zoo is the perfect place for for dating. Yeah. All right. Well, Ross, you remember this from years ago and having done it more than once. What's... uh... Can you can you tell us how they've done, or have you not been party to their experiments? No, I I have to confess, as I missed the last setup, I've had a couple of goes with my son, but I've not played with the guys on screen. So, oh, um, right. but it sounds like they've done their homework far better than I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, today we're going to just move on to the idea of the offer. So, an offer is something somebody gives you, you can do something with. So, when we're doing an improv scene, somebody says, "Good morning, doctor." I say, "Good morning, nurse." They've made me a doctor, I've made them a nurse or whatever. And so you try and use a word that they've said. So uh, we'll be moving on to that uh, harder stuff maybe next week and even the week after. But today we're going to play a version of Yes And. Have you ever played Yes And? Yep. Um, <laughs> look, I'm getting the fireworks. Did you see that? <laughs> it's a Zoom thing now. that And and I, can't, I don't always get it, actually. Sometimes I get it. And if I do that, I get something. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, so yes, and is yes, I hit, I accept your offer and I build on it. So when we do it, often training improvisers and training leaders, I often say, let's just try yes, and you won't say yes, and in the real world, but it's the same as when you do keepy up is in football or you stretch your legs when you're about to do a, a bit of a run. So it's like you're uh, warming up your improv muscle. But we're going to play uh, an interesting version. Of it. It was, that's good because that's good because so it's a bit like yes, and. So whatever you say, I've got to say, that's good because, you know, so I gave some examples here. We're going on a holiday. That's good because I've got some, a new suitcase. That's good because it can take all my smalls. That's good because I've got some very exciting M&S lingerie that I bought the other day with Jim. (laughs) That's good because Jim loves to see me in lingerie. That's good (laughs) because Jim needs a bit of help in the bedroom or something. Um, (laughs) But you're kind of, it all feels see. very uh, spot on. This yeah. <laughs> familiar. So far, so far, so good. Yeah. But basically, you kind of zero in on one word or concept the other person said to move the story on. And I, uh, I can't remember if I said this last week, but Pixar they've got their version of yes and, which is called plusing. Plus, a lot of them have come from an improv background at Pixar. The graphic designers, the artists, the storyboarders, the writers, and so plusing is. You can't critique an idea unless you have a constructive way of moving it forward. Uh, that's what yes and is really, but that's just quite a good one because I was thinking of who can play this, who hasn't even been to this session, who can play it with your children, your parents, your grandparents, the neighbor you hardly know, or some other odd bod in Market Harbour. Uh, and that's good because- Lots it's, of them, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's just an easy version. So we could, actually Ross, as you were, otherwise uh, uh, engaged last week. We could just do it as a two-hander. Should we have a go? So yeah, enough, that's a good thing. just give us an opening line of a story, anything at all. Um, how about uh, I Not was... Not you, not Ross. 
It uh, Ross is going to play with me. Nadia gives us the opening line. It's always best. Ah, sorry. If, <laughs> it's best if the condition, the ask for, we call it, comes not from the player. So okay. it really is. Uh, you've th been thrown it. Otherwise, you'll spend because that's what you did, Ross. You went, oh, what about? Uh, and you were thinking, what's good? What's uh, what? Yeah, can I yeah. Whereas Nadia is going to give us something, and if we we're rubbish, it's her fault. <laughs> <laughs> this, I'm Very loving this. <laughs> so give us give us a, a sentence. Last week, I watched the most fantastic fireworks display. Okay, last week I watched the most fantastic fireworks display. That's good because. I used to be scared of fireworks. Oh, that's good because I'm teaching people how to become pyromaniacs. That's that's good because we need a whole underground army of pyromaniacs. Oh, well, that's good because I have a garage full of wood that needs burning. <laughs> that's good because I love to have more carbon in the atmosphere. <laughs> that's good because I'm not sure global warming warming is true. <laughs> That's good because global warming, maybe we should all be pyromaniacs and bring forth our destiny sooner than waiting for net zero. Well, that's good because I'm incredibly impatient. <laughs> that's good because you can go now and I'll set fire to you. Oh, that's good because I'm doused in petrol. <laughs> that's good because you'll burn quicker oh, that's good because it'll warm up my cold office in market harbour <laughs> that's good because life hooray thank you ross thank took you. a slightly dark turn hopefully that yeah, yeah. we're <laughs> yeah. burning ross to warm him up i like it that's the petrol yeah but it all it came from pyromaniac which probably came from ross just going fireworks got to make a connection and that's yeah. kind of the joy of it here it's kind of we're purging the darkness of our souls sometimes yeah. Uh, so, uh, Ross, why don't you? Why don't we say? Uh, what about Chris and Nadia? You have a go, and you can. I didn't. We, we didn't get to a narrative closure there. That's kind of next level. Perhaps that could be quite fun. Uh, sometimes you might go back to where you started. That's quite a good narrative thing. But that may be too much of an imposition. So, Ross, give them an opening line. Um, I was walking my dog this morning. That's too. Oh, who's going first? Maybe. There you go. Well, that's good because I needed some fresh air. Yeah, that's good because fresh air makes me feel alive. And I've been feeling dead recently. That's good that you're not dead. <laughs> because I can work with you more. <laughs> well, that's good because work is life and it makes me smile. That's good because when you're smiling, we're all happy. Oh, well, that's good because happiness is what I'm all about. That's good because that's what pays the bills. <laughs> that's good because we've got really big bills and we don't have very much money in my pocket right now. That's good. That's because you've got Nadia on board to help you with that. <laughs> well, that's good because she's going to make us famous and people from far and wide will be going, Elvis, come and help me. That's good because we need all of the contacts possible. That's good because contacts make Jim smile too. That's good because Jim has a lovely smile. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Hooray. You played it perfectly. You took one word and then made that a positive thing. Should we have a go with the five of us? Let's see how we go. So just the way it is for me, uh, Chris is first, Neil second, Jim three, Ross four, Nadia five. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same for you. It might not be. So uh, if I am remembering, I'm number two. If you remember your number, just say it in order now. So Chris, say one, one two, three, four. Order. Yes. <laughs> Jim, you were three. Yes, oh, I am. Three. I'm four. Five. OK, let's do it again with uh, with the you know, full commitment. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Like, Ross, liking a bit of characterization there as well. That's excellent. <laughs> Uh, now this time, why don't we have? I think I read. Well, we why don't we could do? Uh, I'm just wondering. Let's yeah. Uh, uh, Harry Potter um, had a new wand. Off you go. Because <laughs> <Chris. laughs> yeah, his old one was shit. <laughs> That's good because he was able to give it to the shit magicians next door. <laughs> That's good because then the shit magicians can cast some shit spells. Ah, uh, that's good because I'm fed up of brilliant spells. That's good because we all like a little bit of naughtiness. 
Oh, that's good because I live for naughtiness. That's good because naughtiness is your USP. <laughs> that's good because we can uh, sell that USP and uh, make loads of money. Ah, that's good. Then we can buy more ones. That's good because ones can make us have whatever we want. <laughs> that's good because I want lots of things. In fact, I'm just thinking of a massive list right now. That's good because Harry Potter is listening in. He's writing down your list. Oh, that's good because I thought I was the only one who thought Harry Potter was real. Ah, uh, that's good because now you can wear your Harry Potter outfit without feeling embarrassed. <laughs> That's good because we all get to see your Harry Potter outfit at Christmas. Well, that's good because we'll play Quidditch. <laughs> <laughs> that's good because I'm the international Quidditch champion. <laughs> uh, that's good because uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I've always thought Quidditch champions were amazing and I always wanted to meet one. Oh, that's good. Now we can have our photo taken and put it on the wall. That's good, because we've got another angle for social media. Oh, that's good, because angles are everything, aren't they, Nadia? <laughs> that's good, because Harry Potter can square the circle with his new wand. Ooh, uh, that's good. That'll do. Uh, well, well, done. Oh. Oh, well, well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. Um, the thing is, you don't have to... Uh, there was a moment when Jim paused, you were thinking, oh, because I've given you Quidditch champion, which is not, it's hard to go anywhere with Quidditch champion. Because <laughs> I was thinking, well, what can he do with that? You could have just said, that's good, because I can spell Quidditch. It doesn't have to oh, be yeah, nice. yeah, I'm anything not too, too grand, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just experimenting with, uh, you know, having a third person, uh, third, third person uh, kind of protagonist. Uh, uh, so we could have another go. Uh, Jim, should we just do it, the two of us, have a go at that? So, Great, let's um, do it. I can't help feeling that where your in-laws are watching, uh, <laughs> and they're at the door going, "What's going on? You should <laughs> never have married him." Um, <laughs> what you're letting the children go in the car with him to school? Because also, if you've been in the chil with the children in the car this week, when you're in Chester, not where you normally live, is how does that work? Oh no, no, I've managed to leave the children in Sussex and come up to Chester for the week. For... Right. Just, just so, random Sussex place. I'm free, and this is how I spend my free time. All right. right. In spare rooms. Oh, that's hot, nice. Very hot spare rooms. Well, yes. Uh, whereabouts in Sussex? I used to live in East Sussex. Oh, yeah. We're West Sussex. Rather grander. Oh, uh, yeah. The posher, the posher part of Sussex. Yeah. Are you are you uh, west of Haywood Heath? Billings, uh, Billings, uh, very near Haywood Heath, actually. Yeah, but posher. Near Petworth. Near Petworth, yeah. yeah. That is posh. That is posh. That, that is, is posh, posh. yeah. Uh, all right. So we shall have a go, Jim. Um, so why doesn't uh, Ross give us an opening line? Anything? Um, I was sailing my boat last week. OK, off you go, Jim. Uh, that's good, because I thought you were working on some very important stuff for Elvis, Ross. <laughs> that's good, because on the boat I had some incredible inspiration that would help Elvis. Oh, that's good. I love inspiration for Elvis. Uh, I, I'm all out. <laughs> that's good, because... Well, you've given so much to Elvis. It's time for you to put your feet up and stay in a nice warm room. Oh, that's good, because uh, I, I was thinking about when I can retire. So it feels as though you just, I've got the green light. That's good, because there's a map near you. You can point to all the places you'll go once you've retired. Oh, that's good, because uh, uh, West Sussex has its limitations. <laughs> That's good because if you leave, then others who've dreamt of West Sussex can enter this beautiful, magical kingdom. <laughs> well, that's good because then uh, people can enter the wonderful kingdom and I'll oh, fuck it, I'll oh, fuck it. <laughs> that's I'm good gone. because there's a boat moored for you that Ross has left for you at Little Hampton. Ah, uh, the world. Oh, that's good uh, because uh, I've got my captain's skipper's. A certificate and I, <laughs> I've, that's uh, good. I've got it all wrong. I got it all wrong. That's good because there's a captain's outfit. Oh, there's a captain's outfit I can wear, uh, which is very sexy. Ooh. That's good because there's a matching lady captain's outfit that uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, can wear. Because uh, as we said at the beginning, I, I'm finding any excuse to get my wife into something sexy at the moment. That's good because we've learned too much. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, so I'm conscious that you used one of these last week and uh, we maybe we could should we have a go at all five of us just doing a quick fire one. See where we get to. Yeah. OK, 
So, uh, Jim, do you want to give us? Uh, 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 why don't you give us a character? Chris can give us an object, and that. that okay, um, I'm going to give you uh, uh, the invisible the the Invisible Man. The Invisible Man. Okay, Grizz, Chris. Oh, he's got a microphone. <laughs> but it's gone. Oh, that was it. That was the, the object. That was it. The Invisible Man and the microphone. Holding a microphone. So, let's do the order we were before. So let's do our numbers. Uh, so off you go, One, Chris. Two, three, four. Hi. Okay, so it's the Invisible Man and the microphone. Uh, so the Invisible Man bought a microphone. Off you go, Chris. Oh, the Invisible Man bought a microphone because he noticed his voice was a little bit quiet. That's good because sometimes the Invisible Man wants to creep up behind people and whisper into their ears. Oh, that's good because I like people being terrified about noises they're hearing in their ear and they can't see who's making them. No, oh, that's good because a little bit of fear creates a little bit of excitement. That's good because the invisible man can do what he wants. Oh, oh, that is good. But sometimes he bangs into his microphone to get their attention. That's good because he's recently joined the Toastmasters Club. He's learning public speaking. <laughs> that's good. We need more public speakers in the world. Ah, uh, that's good because once he's a public speaker. He can uh, he can spread the word about Elvis. Oh. That's good because everyone will listen, but they can't see. Yeah, that's good because there's slightly weird frighteningness about a voice floating without a body. <laughs> <laughs> that's good because actually the microphone floats and he can go wherever he wants. At last, an immersive theatre experience with the Invisible Man. <laughs> that's good and we can sell tickets for that and make lots of money <laughs> that's good because then we can buy more boats to leave for you Jim <laughs> that's good because the invisible man can take the helm while we all drink champagne oh that's good because Jim's retiring and that's what the future looks like <laughs> that's good because I'm about to announce his retirement into the microphone good night Jim well, that's good. I mean, this is a great Friday afternoon. I'm going to put my feet up. Uh, have a nice life. There you go. Thank you. Well done. Hurrah. OK. So... You like it too much, Jim, don't you? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but this, you're all getting it beautifully, which is even in a sort of uh, seemingly not terribly positive thing, there's something we can say that's good because, or even we can say, well, that's good because I love fear, that kind of thing. So it's kind of a committing committing to the game that's all so let's just check in jim if we look at our target audience which is your six and eight year old how do you think they'll, they'll go with this well uh, it's always very difficult to anticipate uh, an eight-year-old and a six-year-old but they're usually arms wide open and very positive so i think they'll they'll be good objects to test this out on yeah so i mean they, and they might do the bit of, of the uh, the less lateral that you might, the more... Yeah, um, I'm also going lateral. to Mark and Spencer's later with my wife, so I might try and um, <laughs> spark up, make this as a, as a way to... I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, all right, so is that enough, Nadia? Do you want to do one more? I Maybe mean, Nadia and I could do one, just that we haven't done a two-end, have we? Yeah, Neil, it's actually Nadia. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's funny because I've got an American friend and, and her daughter's called... I would say Natasha, and they show this Natasha. Uh, <laughs> so, sorry, Nadia. Okay, why, why am I saying Nadia? Oh, because I think I know somebody. Yeah, who, uh, there's somebody I know, and I, she's Karen, except she's Karen. So yeah. now I go Nadia. That's what my mum from crew would say, Nadia Grass. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I've got a friend from workshop who always, you know, he always went in dangerous places. He wears a he wears a gas mask. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so Ross, give us a one that N Nadia and I can do. Do you want a story or is this an object? Is uh, just a, a head, a first sentence. A first sentence. Okay. Um, the sun, uh, it, the Market Harbour is incredibly warm today. Uh, okay. The sun at Market Harbour is incredibly warm today. Off you go, Nadia. That's good because I like a suntan. That's good because in the Market Harbour, they, they're, uh, they've got a whole new sun deck. That's good because I've heard Market Harbour is a really nice place to live. That's good because the property is really cheap. That's why Ross went there. <laughs> <laughs> That's good because Elvis obviously doesn't pay enough for him to go elsewhere. 
That's good because we can offer our clients real value for money. <laughs> <laughs> That's good because we should all move to Market Harbour. That's good because Market Harbour, with its new sunny climate, is becoming the centre of the English wine industry. <laughs> That's good because it's great to have some wine in Market Harbour whilst getting a suntan. Mm. That's good because that's the new strap line for Market Harbour. Get a tan, drink some van. <laughs> <laughs> that's good because we all like a bit of wine on a Friday at Market Harbour. That's good because today is Friday and in Market Harbour, every day is Friday. Well, very good. Deep wisdom. Very very good. Very good. Deep, Deep wisdom. wisdom. <laughs> Deep wisdom. <laughs> Ross, you missed that. Um, when, when, um, when I do the one word, we start with a proverb. Yeah. We start, you know, yellow is nice, or never wear grey, or something. And then, if we crowdsource some wisdom, we we go deep wisdom. Ah. So there we go. Deep so wisdom. I hope you need to, Jim has spent the whole week with his children trying to. I talk have doing deep wisdom. Oh, with the steering wheel. <laughs> uh, okay, so hopefully that'll be an up in your elbows. Deep wisdom we've hit upon. Oh, I think it's it's gonna it's it's there. It's definitely there. Okay. Thank you, Nadia. Thank you, by the way, uh, Nadia, for correcting me because we could have gone on for weeks and festering <laughs> <laughs> anger. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm used to it um, so much, but I, sometimes, no matter how many times I do correct, some people just can't get it. I get it. <laughs> I know. Well, uh, now I'm going to get it right. There's a friend of mine who uh, uh, in the kebab shop. They always call him by his name, and he said, "I've been going there ten years," and. I can't remember his name, and it's ten years is too it's too long an interval. Too long, so, too long, long, yeah. What is your name? It's just a, so you know. I think Nadia, you've shown us that this it's about the half life of anger. You uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. Thank you very much. See you Hi. next week. Uh, report back how it goes. Try it with different demographics, and I hope Mrs. Lusty, if that maybe how she likes to be known. It is. Please. Well, She's we're gonna have a great time in Mark Mark Marks and Spencer's. Thanks to this game. <laughs> Yeah. Market Harbour Spencers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. See you next week. Cheers, Neil. Oh,